Hi friends, it's Yana here today and today we're talking full bust adjustment, but not just any full bust adjustment. We're going to be doing a full bust adjustment on a raglan style top. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is establish if we need a full bust adjustment or not. And to do so, we need to measure ourselves. We need to measure our high bust and our full bust to see what the difference is between the high bust and the full bust. Now, to do so, you're gonna grab your measuring tape. Now, this is best done if you're in your undergarments and if somebody can help you do it. Um, so I'm going to be doing it on my mannequin today. I'm gonna grab my measuring tape and I'm gonna wrap it right under the armpit area. And I'm gonna come right up front to the above the bust area and find that measurement. Then, once I have that, I'm gonna go down to the fullest part of the bust and I'm going to take that measuring measurement again. Okay, so I've got my measurements. Now I'm going to go look at the measuring charts in my pattern. So go check that out. Check out the measuring part, the measuring chart, and um, and look at what the measurements were that you took on yourself. Now, if you if those measurements place you in different size ranges, let's say above the bust places you at a small, but full bust places you in the measurements of a medium. That means that you need to add a little bit of room uh, for you to uh, fit comfortably in your top. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to add that extra room. We're gonna pretend that there's a difference of two inches on her body, so that's what we're going to do, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it, um, and you can plug that formula into whatever your difference might be from your high bust to your full bust. All right, now to get started, we only need two more measurements. I'm gonna grab some pins to locate these measurements. We're going to first find the fullest part of the breast and I'm going to mark it with some pins so I can see here, uh, but obviously you don't wanna mark it with pins. Um, you're just gonna note where the fullest part of your breast is. Um, it's, a lot of times is the nipple, but not always, so make sure that you find the fullest part. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna find where your waist is at. Um, your waist is, if you bend over sideways, where your body kind of does a little break at right here, that is your natural waist. So you need to find that spot. And we're going to assume that this line right here is her natural waist. So what we're going to find first is your measurements from the fullest part of your breast from one side to the other side. So from A to B, we're gonna start on one side and we're gonna measure all the way to the other side. And on her is a seven, so seven inches. And I'm gonna write that down because I wanna keep that measurement, seven inches. And then we're gonna go from the uh, fullest part of the breast all the way down to the center of the waist, uh, of your natural waist. So the front of the natural waist. And that on her is an eight. So I'm gonna write that down, eight inches. And these are the measurements you're gonna need uh, for making this adjustment. Let me write it down so I don't forget. Okay. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to print your pattern according to your upper bust measurement. So if she fell under a size small upper bust, we're gonna print size small for the pattern because then we're going to add a little extra room uh, for it to fit comfortably. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I've got my pattern printed and then I got a second copy and this is what I'm gonna use to do all my adjustments on. So I have this one for later. I need it uh, to help me make sure that everything adds up correctly. I'm gonna grab this piece right here and I have it on the fold. Um, that's how mine is cut. So I, can, I only have to do it on one side. See, um, if you put it together, that's a whole piece. But since I'm doing it on the fold, I can just do half measurement here. Um, if you are going to, if you want to do it, if you have a piece, pattern piece, that's a whole pattern piece, you're gonna have to do the same on both sides. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna start with the first measurement that was from the fullest point, I'm gonna actually start with the first measurement that was from the center of the waistline um, all the way up. And this is my waistline on my pattern piece. Obviously it doesn't say on there, but this is where the waist is. And I'm gonna go from that point 
and I'm gonna go my eight inches that I measured. When I measured my uh, mannequin, it said eight inches. So I'm going from here up and measure the eight inches. And I'm just gonna mark it with like a little dot because we gotta make this measurement here match up. So her measurement was seven inches. So if I'm doing the full thing, seven inches, half of seven is 3.5 so my 3.5 would be right in the middle but since I'm only doing one side I could go 3.5 from that edge and go 3.5 out so oop, I'm gonna move it down so it's closer as you can see now I gotta make sure that this point is correct right here and now I've got to go my eight from here up to that same area This might take a couple of dots to get it just perfectly. 3.5, I'm gonna move up a little bit because I know it's gonna be higher up right here. Eight inches. And 3.5, I think that's the jackpot. Eight inches and 3.5. There we go, I'm gonna mark it with the X. X marks the spot. All right, so now that I've marked my X and everything is correct measurement, I'm gonna go ahead and mark those lines. Here's my one, and then my eight inches going this way. Again, like I said, if you have a uh, one that's solid, you would go 3.5 this way and eight this way, so you would have like a perfect triangle right here. All right, next I'm gonna come from this side and I'm gonna mark two inches down from the arm side. So here's my arm side right here and I'm gonna mark it two inches down. And then I'm also going to go ahead and come from up here and just mark like uh, one third. I'm gonna mark, actually I'm gonna go ahead and also mark my seam allowance, which is a quarter inch. All right, now we're gonna match up all those points and draw some lines. So we've got to start at your apex point, which is the X, and we're gonna go right here to the two inch down mark, and we're gonna draw a line that way. Then we're going to also draw a line to where we matched up right here, where your um, arm side is. Here's my seam allowance and everything marked up. And then we're gonna go from your apex all the way down to your waist a straight line so now I've got all my measurements all my lines are all ready all right so now I've got everything marked up these are my 8 inch my 3.5 which is really 7 inches if it's a whole piece but only 3.5 because I'm only doing half because I'm cutting on the fold I've got my mark for my quarter inch seam allowance and I've got my mark that is 2 inches down from my arm side so I've got it all marked out but the only lines that I really need are these three outer lines. So I'm going to mark them with a different color marker. All right, now grab your handy scissors because we're going to do some cutting. We're gonna start here at the bottom and go all the way up to the apex. Then we're gonna turn up towards the arm side, but we're going to stop at the seam allowance. Now, for a better hinge, we wanna grab right here where we marked that little uh, piece right here. We're just gonna cut. So it just comes right up and you have like this little piece hanging by this little piece of paper right there. But your pattern is cut out because we're going to be moving it back and forth. All right, our next step is trying to figure out how much room we're going to add. So when I took her measurements, we said that there was a two inch difference from the high bust to the fullest part of the bust. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we were supposed to add two inches, but because um, knit is a very stretchy fabric, we're going to go ahead and um, cut that in half. So instead of two inches, we're going to work with one inch. Now we have two sides that we'll be adding two. So we don't have to add one inch to each side. We have to add half an inch to each side to equal a total of one inch. So I'm only adding half an inch on here, which is really a quarter of what my difference is. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this crap piece of paper is where I wrote my measurements, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna draw first one straight line. We're just gonna use this piece of paper to help us guide. Um, it's just easier to do it this way. Here's one line and then I'm gonna draw another line a half an inch away from that because that's how much I'm adding. If you're adding um, a whole inch, then you would make a whole inch line or whatever it is that you're adding, that's how big you would make this uh, line right here. Since I have a clear ruler, I'm just gonna use that because it just makes it easier uh, than have to measure it all out. So I'm gonna line up that first line to my straight line that goes down from my apex and I'm gonna use my tape and tape it in place. All right, now that it's taped in place, I'm gonna grab this little point right here where my apex was and we're gonna move it down to that second line right there where the, so it's touching that half an inch line and I'm going to tape it down again. So now that that's taped and ready to go, I'm going to grab my handy scissors again and I'm going to cut this line right here all the way up to my seam allowance. Now I didn't mark it, but I can kind of tell where my quarter inch seam allowance is right there. And then on the back behind it, I'm also going to cut that little snip again so it can help me hinge um, this out, but don't break it. So now I've got this other line, it's also cut, and I've got this little hingy area right here that's gonna help me. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull this apex, apex <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull this point, this side right here, and I'm going to bring it over, so on top of that other piece, and line them up right here at this second edge right here. It's gonna touch up here, and then it's gonna come right here at the edge, and I'm going to tape it down. All right, now we see that this might be, your waistline might be a little bit different um, because you kind of move this one around. So you wanna make sure that your waistline is still in the same place. So you can grab another piece of paper and add it at the bottom. Um, I can go ahead and tape it. And then once we get our pattern, we're gonna grab our original pattern piece and we can make sure that we um, even everything out. So there's one more thing that we need to do and we're almost done. If we place our pattern piece on top of our piece that we just created, you will see that the difference right here, you created, you added more um, width up here and you added a little bit more area right here um, so that you have more wiggle room, but we don't want the area to go all the way down on this section on your side on the side of your waist. So what we're going to do is we're going to very lightly um, grade it in towards the center. Now, if you look here, this is where it now changed my waistline. It went up because I moved that around. But since I have this piece of paper on it, here's my waistline. So I'm going to mark that so I can make it um, be the same as my pattern. And this is going to come in towards my waistline, so it ends up being right there. I'm gonna use this curved ruler to give it a nice, even, uh, like smooth shape in. I'm just shaving it in slowly, so it brings it all in. And so then, my last step is to go ahead and finish trimming this pattern piece that I just created. I can cut this at the bottom too. I don't need that extra piece. And now we've got a brand new pattern piece that has this extra area right here for you to be able to fit your, um, if it's a larger size cup. All right, friends, I hope that this was helpful. It's super easy to adjust your patterns. So you don't need to be afraid to do so. What we want to do, our ultimate goal is to be able to create patterns, to be able to create clothing that fits your body perfectly. And even though the LA and Mac patterns are awesome at getting uh, tested by different, uh, different testers and stuff like that, different measurements, 
all of our bodies are a little bit different than each other. Um, so doing these little uh, adjustments to your own personal pattern pieces is what's going to give you that perfect fit um, for your body. So please don't be afraid to do so. Check out this video back over and over again every time that you need to do it until you learn the adjustment. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Find us on Facebook uh, where we have a great community of sewists that are always ready to help if you have any questions about any adjustment that you need to do. Um, and check out our other videos on here that have also other adjustments that can be done um, on your pattern. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.